Dear Luz Karime, so today's vlog is going to be a little different because I realized that a lot of exciting things have happened in these past two weeks, yeah. especially in Alpha Psi, but I'm just going to write you a letter about all those things, and I want today's video to be a little celebratory because in a couple of days, season 13 of Red vs. Blue is starting, and I can't wait. Ah, so much excitement. This is Moises. Hello. Moises, my good friend here, just watched the entirety of this show. <laughs> in like three days. In three days. How are you feeling? So many emotions. <laughs> so many emotions. I know this show isn't your cup of tea, but, you know, maybe this will inspire you to check it out. Or maybe you can just sit here and laugh at us being absolute nerds, whatever you prefer. <laughs> so, Moises, yes. I'm going to ask you some questions to see what your thoughts are on this show. Are you ready? Yes. Who is your favorite member of Blue Team? Uh, a Blue Team, hands down, is Caboose. He is okay. just adorable, <laughs> he's funny, and he's just generally a great person. I love Caboose. I'm a Tucker fan. I love Tucker. I think there's so much potential to him that I just can't get enough of him. Also, I adore really cheesy, awful pickup lines. Oh, oh my god. And that's what Tucker oh, is. Okay. Who is your favorite member of Red Team? I'm gonna have to go with Lopez. Lopez! Lopez the Hispanic Lopez robot. goes through so much crap and is so underappreciated. Uh, but finally, they're, you know, he has his moments, and he comes in and saves the day, and they're like, Lopez, we don't understand you. Let's ask you a bunch of questions. With his broken Spanish. Oh, and, his, and he's just a head. For most, <laughs> of the, most of the series, he's just it's a head. It's true. Okay, who is your favorite that. freelancer? My favorite li freelancer will definitely have to be North. North, I connect with him. He is so caring about everyone, including Theta, his AI. Um, he is just... Amazing. I feel like I personally connect with him. I get that. I don't personally connect with Tex at all, <laughs> but I aspire to be that strong of a person. Okay. Who is your favorite AI? Oh, well, yeah, hands down, Theta. Oh, uh, he's just, yep. he's, he's, he's adorable. He's so cute, and he's it's so, just, oh, God, he's, he's, he's so innocent. He is innocent, and so that to me is just like precious baby playing with his little skateboard in the meeting and he needs everything. A dog. He needs a dog. Who is your least favorite member of Red Team? Oh my gosh. I know. <laughs> it's so hard, but I'm going to go with Simmons. Just because everyone else has this... Well, actually... <sighs> I said Simmons. Honestly, yeah. I said Simmons. And I feel like if Gus Arola ever met me and heard that, he would kill me. <laughs> and that, like, terrifies me because I love Gus. But... It just, I don't know. I somehow, some way connect to all the other characters better. I think Donut and Sarge have some of the best dialogue. Yes. Griff is my favorite member. And we connect to Lopez on that I nationality level. <laughs> Who's your least favorite member of Blue Team? It's probably Sister. I don't know. She just came off really strong. And she's not in the series. What was your favorite season? Oh. Favorite season? Mm hmm. Season 9, because of the freelancer story, it was well done, animations were perfect, everything was great. Um, who is your least favorite AI? It's probably Sigma. Well, no, not no. Alright, hold on, let me think about this. It might just have to be the twins because of the downfall of Carolina, as strong as she was, and yeah. causing all this havoc within the freelancers. Yeah. See, I said Gamma because I like the possibility that comes with Ada and Iota. We don't know what they do yet. Okay. And so whenever we figure, I'm excited to figure out what they do. Right. And also I don't blame them for her downfall. Like that was okay. a mistake getting to AI, but that was her spirit. That was the director messing with her. Can't stand Gamma for the simple reason that Half of this fandom still doesn't understand they didn't actually travel in time. Gary is a dirty shizno. <laughs> Your favorite quote? There's so many. That could be a funny one. It could be inspirational. It could just It's the quote that you think of when you think red versus blue. Tucker did it. <laughs> <laughs> what is your favorite ship? Oh. And that doesn't have to be canon. 
Grimmins is big, and Grimmins is semi-canon because even though the show has never confirmed Griffin Simmons, Jeff Ramsey, the voice actor for Griff, has gone on a podcast and said Griff is just in love with Simmons and doesn't realize it yet. So okay. we completely took that to be okay. That's that's official, even if the show never addresses that. So I think that would definitely have to be my my favorite though. Grimmins. Grimmins, yeah. Okay. They're adorable. They they're meant to be. What's your favorite song from the entire series? Okay, it's definitely Forever. And that's a song that plays when CT dies. Yeah, that's a good one. It's such a powerful song, and mm-hmm. I've literally been listening to it all day while I was cleaning my room. I like Good Fight. Not only is it like a really good song or a really powerful song, but every time I hear it, I think of the very end of season seven. When you have Wash in that little like dream state, and they're like, what makes you think they're going to give it to you when you ask for it? Who do you think is the most competent soldier within Blood Gulch? Not like Within the, Blood Gulch. Yeah, like not including freelancers. Maybe Tucker. Because he doesn't really do anything wrong. And he's always double-guessing things and like when they should be. Mm-hmm. I guess. Yeah. I said Tucker because I just, like, he... Out of anyone else, he's the one to usually have the action plan and go for it. Right. And, like, if something needs to get done, he's going to get it done somehow. He becomes, like, an ambassador for aliens and... And he's part of the prophecy. Yeah. Your favorite funny moment. I guess it will be when Caboose is trying to get angry. <laughs> and he's thinking of all these things. And I think he thinks of, what, dead puppies? Yep, oh. and taxes. And taxes. Actually, I don't know what season is in. It's somewhere, but like, four and five, I think. Um, Something's up with Sheila. Omega is in Sheila. Tex and Church are trying to work on it. And Church goes, like, do you think that'll work? Tex says, if we set up a hard line, yeah, I think we could do it. Tucker, from the base, yes. goes, Church! Tucker? <laughs> Church, wait, I got something to tell you! Tucker, what is it? I just wanted to say, I got a hard line text to use. Bow to bow wow. She yes. goes, how did you even hear that? <laughs> I'm like Superman. I know when I'm needed. <laughs> what was your favorite sad moment? <sighs> and there were plenty of them. There were so many of them. I think my favorite sad moment, well, the one off the top of my head, the first one I thought of, um was definitely when I think he's Epsilon at this point. Church has to go and let go of Tex. When Carolina sees the message that York left Delta, oh God, talking forgot. about how he met Carolina and like was swept off his feet right away. I was like, if I had opened up with a pickup line, I never would have seen her again. If you could date anybody in the show, who and why? Who and why? Now, I'm going to tell you right now, I said North. Because I need someone to take care of me, and North is the one to do that. Might have to go with Tex. Okay. Because of how strong she is. All right. And there is a warm heart under that heart exterior. Of course. Not not Dr. Gray. <laughs> <laughs> Stop. Stop. I love her, personally. Yeah, no, she's fantastic. She's just... Too much. Oh, my God. <laughs> Who is your favorite villain in the series? Uh, the meta. The meta is terror, and he's just... Oh, every time I hear his theme, I'm just like, something's about to happen. I feel that. I definitely do. I, I get chills, and it's just like, hold on. I said Omega because I like comedic villains, and that's all Omega was. He wasn't evil he was just i am the epitome of anger so i'm gonna think really stupid things angrily there's a quote in like when they first move into their lair and doc is like it's a really bad neighborhood and omega says of course it is it's an evil lair we made the neighborhood bad <laughs> this one's funny how long have you been a fan oh uh, hmm. <laughs> not even a week about a week <laughs> coming on a week what was your reaction to finding out about the director in Carolina? That Actually, me. do you want me to like pull it up? Because I have the Facebook message that you sent right after uh, you found out. I, I actually want to see that. <laughs> so the message I sent you was, Oh my God, is the director Carolina's father? 
what? <laughs> I was pretty excited. I was like, I know exactly what episode <sighs> you're on and what scene you just watched. It, just seeing their eyes and finally being able to put that together, I was like, he put her through all this. Oh my god. Red versus blue is a very long <sighs> love story. A very long, twisted love story. Oh my god. It is, uh, I'm ooh, sorry. It's okay. <laughs> If you were paired with an AI, which one do you think they would have paired you with? Oh, that's hard. If they were to pair me with an AI. Mm-hmm. Mm, I don't know. How, well, what, what do you, what's your opinion on that for me? Um, I don't think you could handle Gamma. Yeah. Or Sigma. Or Omega. No, I definitely, I, I would stress hella stress epsilon would stress anybody out <sighs> yes um maybe delta i was thinking that i don't think i would be good for theta see i originally thought theta for myself because i'm childish as well mm-hmm. but i need more logic in my life so probably delta Did you also yeah yeah that makes the most sense last question i don't know if you're aware of this but i'm gonna make you aware of it they have gone on record to say that the main characters of this show are never going to show their faces. Oh. Because they feel like there's just too much hype now, and it's been so long that people have like these idealized versions of them that when they release the real versions, whatever it is, will not live up to standards. Okay. How do you feel about that? I think that's perfect. I think that's perfect. Everyone has the ideal Sarge. Everyone has the ideal Church. I think it's perfect. I think that's a great idea. Yeah. You're a better person than I am because I'm <laughs> really bitter about it. I just want to know. I don't care if I'm completely wrong. I just want to know. <laughs> Thank you, Moises, for no sitting through this long half hour with uh, me. It's so worth it. It's it such is. a good show. I highly recommend it. And I hope that you were able to sit through this nerding out session. I love you very much, and I will talk to you soon. Love, Sammy. And Moises. And Moises. <laughs> <laughs>